Hello and welcome to Fly Tying Episode 2. Today I'm using a Scud Emerger size 12 and a tan thread, just a nice little olive tan thread. And actually, I think to start it, I'm going to use something that I don't normally use. Um, those eyes are a bit too big. And I ran out of my small one, so I'll just use a Cyclops bead. Okay, there we go. Got my Cyclops bead. And this is just a freeform plot. It doesn't have to look a specific way. I'm just doing this for fun. <coughs> so let me put this on real quick. Okay, there's a nice little Cyclops bead. Simple jam, as always. Yeah, I've got to snip off the ends. And yeah, I don't have the best equipment. I don't have a Norvice or whatever. I just have simple stuff. But you gotta start somewhere, so. And you can pause the video at any time so that you can catch up. Okay, well, now what I think I'll tie in is what do I want to use today. <coughs> um, I think in deer hair, I'll use a little bit of that. my deer hair in a while as you can see I've only snipped off little bits of the edges and everything. I like the coloring of deer hair though so I'm gonna want about 10 ish fibers. Not too many. Because this is a lot of fibers. And I don't want your hackle. It only took more than 10 there, but oh, and like I said, we're just doing this for fun. down all this stuff back here really quick. Okay. As always, watch this in HD for the best video quality possible so that you can see everything nice and clear. That way it's easy. Er, not easy, but easier. Sorry, got the background. So like my dad's just playing with my dog. I'll tie off that Cyclops bead in a bit. Maybe actually I'll just do that right now. 
I like to use Cyclops beads or any kind of eyes or stuff because then this eye is guaranteed to pretty much stay open without any sort of feathers or stuff blocking them away because I have accident prone to that. Okay, so I can put my deer hair away. So far we've got a nice little start to our fly. I think so anyway. Um, you know what should we add? Maybe some mean. I'll do that last. I think we should add some marabou to the top. I don't know what color. Ooh, I'm a, uh, I'll do a humpy color. My pink. Because so, I live in Seattle and yeah, we yeah. have in humpy seasons coming up this year, so I might as well get prepared. So, quilt. Okay. That's plenty of energy. Got a lot of pink stuff because we live in Seattle and humpy is the main thing that we fish for. So, <coughs> got a bit of a cold today. Um, you can expect about one to two uploads a week currently, I'm thinking. Okay, we'll just pink there, blue here. Cut off a few strands. Clip off the end. Messing up the whole thing only a little bit, so I'm gonna close the plastic apart. Should probably use the bigger size hook if I'm doing a salmon fly, but oh well. It doesn't really matter. Pluck off any extra fibers on the bottoms because I want these two pieces of deer fur and marabou to be separate. So that way it will look nice. This is actually going to be a very small kind of elegant fly, I guess, so maybe not for salmon, but it's good for something. Just going to kind of look off this bottom flake down here because I don't want that. Open up a little bit of the hair. This is a good start, I think. Put off that extra piece right there. That way we have a nice separation between the deer furs. And Marabou. Kind of looks like a shrimp almost. Maybe we'll do some sort of shrimp. Some sort. I think I'll do that. Ah, I gotta pop my knuckles real quick. Um, let me grab my pink Chanel. It's a fine one. It's a very thin Chanel compared to some of the thicker ones. So, and then I might add some of this egg snippet. I do I want to go like this? Or do I want to wrap it around? Even if it's a I think I'll wrap it around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and wind all the way back. Here. I don't think I'm going to put on any rubber legs with that until I get more experience with those rubber legs. 
I think those are harder for me to do currently. But I assure you, I will have some videos with rubber legs. L8R. So I'll have some rubber leg tutorials and stuff later. Hello. What are you doing? Tie to fly. I can't even get the door shut. Hmm? Oh, you're so not talking. Okay. Got one really quick. Got to go shut the door again really quick. Well, I might call it good at that because that's a nice little quick fly to tie. And I should put a couple of little whip knots. Should use my whip finisher, but it's hard to use on these cone heads. So just use it normal knots. It looks kind of like a shrimp, kind of. I should have added some legs, but I wasn't comfortable, so I didn't. Which I think is better if you want to take. Just messing it up, and I'll put a couple of knots in the front. Okay. I think we can call it good. That. There we go. That was a nice little quick fly. Hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, finish it off with a little bit of glue right there just to seal it up so that when it goes in water or it gets bitten it goes through rough stuff, it will not untangle and lose all your pretty work. I'll have some pictures in a later video. Thanks for watching. Bye.